Wes Catholic came out throwing haymakers in the first quarter, but they let Lansing Catholic off the ropes and then it got away from them. Falcons fall in the semifinals. It's taken to the present for highlights of the Division II semifinals. West Catholic, Lansing Catholic, and the Falcons in that first quarter came out soaring. Cadence Dykstra stepped back three, rattles that one in. Then Dykstra is going to take the opponent and defender one on one. Look at the spin move. Gets the nice soft touch on the fast break. Reese Polega going to pull up, get it to Alicia Dykstra, and the Falcons led 17 to 6 after the first quarter. But then it all went south. Anna Richards, three pointer good. It was a six point game at the half. Second half, Richards really takes over. She finished with 28 points, and Lansing Catholic ends West Catholic season 59 41. Here's Alec Janakopoulos with post game reaction. After a hot start, the Falcons only scored three points in the second quarter, which allowed Lansing Catholic to come back in the second half and end the Falcons' hopes of a state title. A disappointing end for a very talented group of seniors led by Caden Steikstra, who won't have a chance to play one more time here in East Lansing. This team was so close, and every team was just so close. I mean, I don't even know what to say, but besides, it was just amazing. I mean, being here twice with these amazing people, I mean, can't ask for anything better. They're friends, you know, that just really are sacrificing, um, you know, their time, you know, to play the sports of each other. And I think that's really cool when you come from a school less than 500 where you need that. You need those student athletes. And so um, it's really special. It's really unique. And you don't see it very often. Um, and it makes me really proud of our kids because like Grace had mentioned in the locker room, uh, we're, we're not just friends, um, but we're family. And, and it, it is genuine. That'll do it for day two of the state tournament here from East Lansing. We'll be back tomorrow, though, as Rockford tries to get themselves their first ever state championship. Reporting from the Breslin Center, I'm Alec Janakopoulos, News 8. Thanks, Alec. He just mentioned Rockford in the finals. Let's show you how they got there. Took on Detroit Renaissance in the semis. Student body out in force. They got the day off of school. Here it's Alyssa Wide pitch. The steal gets it to Anna Wide pitch for the lay in. Rockford was off and running in the half court. Grace Lyons, pretty pass to Seattle Wolf inside. No problem. And then Lyons, watch this spin move. She gets to the hoop. Rockford led by 13 at the half. They go on to win at 65 to 42. They'll play for the title tomorrow. It's a big deal for Rockford to call off school. It, it affects a lot, a lot of families, and not everybody was happy about it, but, I mean, they knew that we needed everyone here to pull this off, so it was just a great feeling and gives you chills when you're hearing everybody cheering out there, and it just gives you momentum, too, and it's just a great feeling. They're like a sixth man out there, and um, we're going to need them to come out tomorrow in full effect uh, if we're going to have a chance against West Bloomfield.